that I understood the weakness of my f Hey folks, and I'm back. W welcome back to Mechanicus, I should say. I have the Heretech DLC. Let's continue. These two first before I do anything else. Let's do this. Uh, Necron Destroyer Specimen Sun. Shame they can only have the one melee weapon. I mind doubling down on them, you know? Who knows, maybe we can get some offhand melee weapons later. Ooh, this is the issue with these guys. These guys are relatively free. Only one to call in and then one and then free. No cost here. These cost 17, so I can't bring any with me. Reports received from Subdomia Kepra. Synopsis follows. Have resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm. Yes or no. Correct. There have been setbacks. Troops have encountered a new Necron Warform. Reaction equal to light. Pray, Tech Inquisitor. Explain. Enemy war form. Provision designation destroyer. Anti grav technology confirmed. Export or request file accessed. Anti gravitational technology is an area Stygies 7 Magos have requested as high priority. Study of provisional designation destroyer. Desirable, necessary, sacred duty. And you'll be famed throughout Stygies. So, Stygis 8 for exploiting this technology. Statement agreement. Uh, request formulation follows. Commence the deployment immediately. Concentration of Necron destroyers is playing Merry Hell, uh, Merry Hell with our Skatari units in the tomb of Acropolis. There are highly mobile and heavily armed weapons platforms. Taking them on is dangerous in the extreme. Reason to observe them. Our troops are possessing uh, such technology extrapolated to conclusion, creating an increased battlefield effectiveness. I was raised to see that as dangerous thinking Magos. Put such piety aside for now, Subdami. Let's go ready to advance. They are. I plotted the likely location to destroy units. They're somewhere within this complex. Portion of Mars be with you. Transmission origin, Necron. Uh, Xenos language, stu uh, language study opportunity, quest study. Uh, 
Hark not to the aliens' words, we see unknowingly repeat them. True, when Archmagos Van Rathus Halion wrote it, Magos, true to the uh, The chamber is bathed in a constant data flow transmitted by the tomb's own awakening protocols. This transmission must be of Necron or 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 origin. Delegate. Relay the transmission to Cassius McCallan for translation. Dismiss. Block out transmission from Squad Communications to pay no more mind. Attempt to decode the transmission locally with the cohort's internal cogitators. Uh, would not want to delegate it to the ship. Maybe more likely for success, but could compromise the ship. Probably better to keep it isolated to just a team. Words of the enemy. Conclusion string follows. Infinitely arrogant, obsessed with the mechanisms of the cosmos slash Lord Saragon object of veneration. Fascination. Behold the wisdom of Arachmus, Lord Astronomer to the court of Saragon. To him, no mystery to stars is left obscure. Let the heavens themselves send testament to the might of Lord Cesargon. These words of blasphemy are deeply troubling, but the cohort gains some insight into the mentality of the foe. This area of the Tinnogropus is covered in hieroglyphics, interspersed with depictions of Necron constructs, most often engaged in war. Some of the images depicted uh, some of the images resemble the Necron destroyers with the distinctive anti-grav hulls. Examine the pictographs for evidence of destroyer battle tactics and weaponry. Search the pictographs for evidence of Necron philosophy and beliefs surrounding the destroyers. Examine the pictographs for any suggestion of weaknesses in destroyer war forms. Every inscription suggested swords are more heavily armed, solidly armored, heavily armed, solidly armored, and mobile than any of the numerous other numerous necromorphs. Such a blunt illustration of this particular enemy's capability says little to heart in the cohort, mission engaged in battle with the destroyers. Party got one HP. The lives of the logic, the logic saints. Psalm 61. Even in death, her duty is not complete. More to wound is Katari. Uh, lies in the floor of this chamber. His torso laid open by ghost fire. He was evidently caught in a firefight. Left behind when his unit fell back. It was like his Katari were attacked by Necron destroyers. This guitar might have witnessed his their tactics up close. Uh, administer medical assistance to the trooper. Deliverance. It sounds like we're just going to execute the guy, but sure. Oh, the trooper's badly injured. Quick and dedicated medical intervention by the cohorts, tech priests, stabilize his vital signs. Review no intelligence for now. He will eventually fight again. Brother's lost precious time intervening, but are provided with a rare example of survival against the odds. Sorry if I'm a bit off today. Uh, my head's elsewhere, honestly. Like, if I seem off in this set, my head is just elsewhere. Intrigue. Most interesting. Not all forms are humanoid. Arguing that a centurion form. Uh, gravity defined. Centurion form. And we've seen one of these before. The guy, the Admiral. It's 
kind of feels like they didn't acknowledge the tutorial in a way. It's just like, oh, the Necron disappeared. Yeah, we've seen that before. Uh, the Zenos show that they are more alien than we were taught. Text of the old cog, version 12, states one converge for... One can verge from the standard form, but one must always retain their humanity, be lost to the men of iron and their ways. I do not mean to diverge from the discussion, but what are these men of iron? Unclear. This text was logged many millennia ago. There's no other reference to them in my cogitators. Keep focus, brothers. We have a new enemy afoot. We must ensure they do not surprise us with new trickeries. Be aware to focus. Kill or destroy targets. Wait, is it getting two turns? That's concerning. There's no armor? Weird. To my benefit, certainly, but odd. Fine. Down. Two, three. Nice. Taunted. be better about that. These are the canicles available to use on this mission. Canicles can only be used once per mission, so keep in mind there might be more fights to come. Oh, okay. It's worried that was, um, and, uh, that was gonna end his turn or something.
Boom, baby. See if I can't kill this right, right now. the gesture there. Not sure what it was. remaining. Gorge draws from the tomb, having experienced the prowess of Necron destroyers first hand. If nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus can learn as, um, if nothing else, the Adeptus Mechanicus have learned of the strict danger these Necron warforms pose. And the gravity comprehension index plus three nine, uh, plus three dot point nine percent. Projected beneficiary equals Stygy Error Adeptus Mechanicus. I'm focused on matters much closer in space and time, Skevoa. Retrieval... Uh, retrieving Tech Acquisitor's statement to purpose. To perceive the grander picture, to strive to acquire and understand for the benefit of all mankind. Be that as it may, I'm more interested in how your studies will help our mission on Silva Tenebris. Attitude mode. Trust in the scientific method, Magos. And what did you know? I hate how this appears here because you have to blitz through this if you want to see it. If I mission to get improved with No, you have a mission. Uh, oh good, I did actually get some blackstone, it just didn't add up there. The Lord Astronomer. Skidari have located sarcophagus of Lord Acropolis in his tomb. Prime Hermeticon Caprix requires a, a request a high-risk mission to be sent to destroy a coppers. Heavy phosphor blaster. Mobile projectiles in a cone. Reels target statistics. Four to six damage. Three slots. Jesus. The burning white spheres cling tenaciously to their targets, sizzling wildly as they melt flesh or burrow through armor and exoskeleton like. You know, 
The thing is, trooper. Ooh, that's nice. Reduced by 30%. That's fantastic. The thing that's bugged me right now is I repeated something someone said in a video, I think, possibly. But I'm thinking more about it now, and it's like, no, I think they're bullshitting. I think they're pulling my leg. That's what, what's distracting me this whole set, is me feeling awkward about that. I feel like an idiot. I just took them at their word. It's a terrible habit of mine, presuming people aren't full of shit, you know? One, two, three, four. There we go. Headset was kind of stuck. Explore the remnants of an excavation in the tomb of a coffers, made by the original Imperial settlers on Silver Tenebris. Whoever had any archaeotech left behind, for tech acquisitors gave over. Oh, it's the uh, gun um, used in the tutorial, Phosphorus Serpenta. A favorite weapon among many tech priests, if target survives initial trauma, they are soon fouled by the light guided volleys that follow. Boosting the cogitative, cogitative uh, canister allows the user unbelievable cognitive, sorry, cognitive canister, cognitive processing power. Able to analyze hearts' weaknesses within microseconds improves the probability of precision attacks on the target's most vulnerable elements. Wonder if we've got any more canticle slots. We have a problem, Magos. And it's doubtful you seize my attention with such a clarity when were they going to plan Subdomia. It is doubtful you seize my attention with such a clarity were they going to plan Subdomia. One of my Skatari units is escorting an Oculus Topographus to produce four internal scans at the tomb of Argolect. They have been they have become bogged down by Necron attacks and are cut off. They will surely perish if they do not get immediate support. And the Oculus? It will be lost too. And yes, I am aware it is worth a lot more than my, any of my soldiers' lives. The last communications from the Skatari said they were under heavy fire and trying to prepare a defensive position. Since then, they've gone dark. They're either dead or the architecture of the tomb is interfering with their comms again. Both possibilities reduce the percentage chances of the Oculus Topographus being recovered. Which is why I need your tech priests on this, Magus. We ha have to move with speed and a hell of a lot of firepower. Is that a phrase they would use in 40k? Hell, like, and a hell of a like hell. I feel like I'm being pedantic here. It's just. I oh, know, it's just sticking out to me right now. But it's probably just where my mind's at in the moment, you know? One, two, three. That I can supply. We advance immediately. Yes, Magos. Thank you, Magos.
try this one. It's one of the Oculus Topographus' beacons. The poison to help it scan an area. It could have already started mapping the tomb. There could be more nearby. Things worth finding. At a point where beacon lies at an intersection of passages. Forge beacon data. Search for more beacons, recover them. That would in might be valuable. Do not search for more beacons. The data they contain might contain is not worth, worth holding up the mission. Necrons might be interested in beacon too. We would be trapped to punish Necrons for their inquisitiveness. Ooh, we've got the extra one. Uh, there, the core searches the area and locates two more beacons. Both extracted the information from each. Necrons, however, are closing in. We can wear the core's location. Beware, Amagos. Remember, Admonination's Machinae, 316. Seek not the words of Xenos, let's say affect us with blasphemy. Vox cast unit somewhere in the tomb nearby. He's broadcasting streams of code, possibly a Necron transmission. This could be a Necron communication device, destroying a constructor capacity to coordinate their attacks. Uh, ignore it. Junk code, nothing more. Find the device and attach a spare comms unit to it, so the transmission can be decoded and examined on the ship. Find and destroy it. I am the Void Admiral, Lord Agronic, Dominator of the Skies and Overlord of the Stars. By my fleet shall the light of the Necrons banish the stain of biological life. Extinguished all, extinct in totality, bleached and clean, and perfect for the Necron Empire. The serving transmission is rapidly purged from the Cassius McCallan, but not before it has caused dismay and fear among the troop crew and troops on the ground. Skatari, have been cut down by Necron fire while trying to provide a rear guard for us units. Burn the corpse, put out uh, not used to the enemies. Covers gear for use. Pray for his mortal soul. Uh, it says a few words of prayer for Skatari. Skatari. Though many have and will fall in these tombs, there's no reason to shoot the basic rites of passing for this one. Or take solace from the fact that if they were to fall, someone might perform the same service for them too. Not a good sign for it to become separated. Perhaps it's damaged by any fire. In any case, it might have some useful data. Malfunctioning service gold drifts around this chamber, trailing sparks. It looks like one that accompanied the unit escorting the Oculus topographics. Re recover the service gold and return it to Cassius McKellen for recycling. Secure it. Search the chamber for trying to re recover the skull. Enemies might be nearby. Retrieve it. Extract the data medium chip and leave the skull itself behind. It may have become contaminated with Xenos data. Secure. Checks out the chamber's proofs uh, devoid of en the enemy. Our during search, service skull shorts out and drops to the floor, of which can be easily claimed. That's fine. 
Fimber head is covered in dust and debris, which could, uh, could show the tracks of the uh, Oculus topographics. It, it is clear it went this way, and the trail left behind can be followed by the cohort to reach its location as quickly as possible. Follow the trail, but slowly in case the enemy expects Mechanicus troops to be following the Skatari unit. Avoid the trail entirely in case the enemy is used to set up an ambush. Haste, follow the speed. Uh, the cord uh, heads rapidly in the direction of the Oculus topographics. We feel the odds of Necrons upon them as they do so. No pays any attempt to flank or ambush them. They get some headway towards their objective. New template detected. Observing. Excitement, excitement statement. How glorious the Xenos varied her weapons. That's the weapon tag. They do not show signs of Prometheum Flamer tech, which only shows their inferior steps in technological advancement. Recall that in Xenos and the Count, version 001010101. The royal hunting grounds are always forbidden. The Xenos. Not now, Vidix. We've dealt with immortals for a while now. They're proven to be worthy threat. Now they have a separate weapon. Uh, now they have a separate we weapon pattern. This is most concerning for our troops, sir. Troops are of little concern. Mission is always priority over bio life forms. Scan or destroy? Hmm. Galvanic rifle. Get to this. Okay. But I got every. I could get four people on this platform and just deliver them right over here. Or we can just wait here and kill who comes. Might be an option. Battle Scout reveals enemy statistics when doing damage.
Well, at least the auto repair will counteract. Why did you have to go first? Equip one of my guys for two. Just kill this. with the other thing maybe first that was a misclick I've just fucked myself Actually, move away now. 
Yeah, just move back then. But will the machine guard uh, be whole again? Damn, I should have downed that guy because he's getting up next turn. Stop Juni tax so lovely. They just pass or something? I thought it's their turn next. So maybe they did. Crit, please. Okay, critted, but. 
Seems the crit is just the maximum damage roll it can do. Like it sees two, one to two. Is this where? It, that's just that was the case. There. Tedious. I was hoping for more out of him. Try and get over to this, but how would it? Okay, no, I still need to get over to that. They got good range. Not oh, damage either. Then again, one was a four there, but didn't crit. I don't know. Again. Break him.
Necron will attack first in battle. And down. No tread remain. The Corps defends the location of the Lost Katari unit, enabling them to move the Oculus Topographus back out of the tomb and towards Katari lines. Troops and available surveying device they escort are saved from perishing in the tomb of Argolak. Squad survivors are back at our lines, and the Oculus has been salvaged. We have been set back in our exploration of the Tomb of Argolek, but not nearly so far as we would have been if the unit had been lost. It's the Oculus Topographus providing data. It is fully functional, though, although at this stage it can report nothing other than that the Tomb of Argolek is huge. This should be factored into future missions. And sure, I am appraised for development, Subdomia. Now. Perform 50 physical attacks, I've done 52. Next attack will break 2 physical armor. Scan 24 Necrons, done 30. And 4. Next 4 attacks will ignore armor. Uh, I'll collect 25 cognition points. Blessing Zamasai, gain 3. Shroud Song. Let the same be your armor, and scorn the flames of their fury. Form 50 energy attacks done 80. Ob J Jow sector located. Whereas the other tombs are sterile, this one is grossly fecund with the union of life and death. First scouting parties. The first scouting manipulates. The enter are overwhelmed by the appalling stench. They walk straight into a charnel house. Biological matter plaster every wall and floor. Some are creatures indigenous to Silva Tenebris, but others are unmistakably human, presumably the former colonists of Eckhart's hope. Their decay begins instantly as the sealed atmosphere of the tomb is breached. A metallic skittering heralds something even worse waiting in the tomb. In this pit of disease and dead, even the mind of a tech priest is vulnerable before its horror. Flares. Uh, Tekakwis Griske Vola has received reports of powerful artifact in the tomb of Argolak. Acquired this artifact for study. Skitari Vanguard 1. Level 1. Cognition Mechadendrite. Tedious. One sec. Oh, today's just not my night. Something fell off to bed there. I grabbed some tissue to off a roll I, total roll I have here to pick it up. Turn to roll back into bed. It didn't set hits of something and bounced onto the floor. Tease. <sighs> hey, uh, probably gonna call this here. Uh, it's just not my night. Designed purely for data collection, specifically from new discoveries to ensure the safety of the user's uh, weaker fleshy husk. The cognition mechadendrites serve as a fundamental tool normally favored by 
Lex Mechanic, uh, Mechanics that logs a new uh, found data in huge cogitators called data looms. The fumes from the tomb of Ogliao is damaging equipment in the morale of the Adeptus Mechanicus forces. A director of dogmatis effects suggestion place sacred incense burners in tomb to banish miasma. Gamma pistol. Hmm. Attack ignores armor. Nice. A beam of ionized radiation directs itself from the barrel with unerring accuracy. Trusted only to most blessed priests, for the machine spirit within is wild. Able to turn targets to ash in seconds or cut through defensive structures with ease. Nice. Containment. Subdomia Kepler reports that Necron Flayed One attacks are destroying the Morales Kdari, the two move. Objao. Stem the influx of flared ones into the upper levels of the tube. Volkite Blaster. Ooh, Jesus. That's hefty. Uh, single target range attack, 6 to 8. Machine Spirit. Cognition cost reduced by 1. Katari Ranger Alpha. Favored during the Great Crusade before the Terran bolt gun drove them into decline, Volkite weapons impart so much. Uh, thermal dynamic energy to the target that those under their shimmering rays simply combust. Ooh, Void Admiral. We can hunt Argoek now. Servitor Tier 3, Power Fuel Generator. Cosmo. Yeah. Power uh, Fuel Generator. I already have one of those, but this is an improved version, I think. It's plus three rather than plus two, maybe? Hmm. Resource required to create a plasma calver are low on this mission. As a result, Skatari Vanguard are not permitted use. Luckily, finding this SCC fragment allows tech priests to use the calver without the requirements of mass production or resource management concerns. Fires in straight line, passing through all units. Deals 5 7 total targets, destroys 1 NG armor. Machine spirits, 2 NG armor, 2 physical. Will not be a bad weapon to have. And that's its uh, bigger kin. Okay, cool. to check something. Main menu, yes. Ah. So, oh, that's not annoying at all. So I can't just kiss that run I started. I can't just uh, put, you know, log in with the Heretech D DLC. I can't just continue it and have Heretech going on. I actually have to start a new run. Thankfully, I'm not far in, but that's just tedious. Oh, another person. Zenite. The secret of Zero Rights. Xenorites seek to understand and even use dangerous alien technology. There is this discipline that can reap the greatest rewards and the, most, and the foulest corruption. Zealous Metals. Restore 1 HP at the beginning of the unit's turn. As opposed to the engine steer that does it at the end. Combine the boat to heal one at start and end. But nice. Corrupted technology. Gain plus 1 to damage after making an attack, the unit loses 1 HP. Mm. Critical knowledge. Gain 5% critical chance per missing HP. Yachts fabrication. Restore tree. The ultimate resistor. The ultimatum resistor. Once per battle, revive tech priest at the beginning of the next turn with 10 hit points. Jesus.
yeah, I'll leave this here. I sincerely hope you enjoy this, and I hope you join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, love and peace, baby.